Hey you guys, so it's time for my favorite. You guys know the deal, you guys know how it goes. Sorry for the lighting, sun's going down. So we're gonna have to do this like super, super fast. Um, I don't think I have a lot of makeup products to be quite honest. Um, yeah, not a lot. Um, so let's start with my favorite eyeliner of the moment. I think I mentioned this a couple months ago. I don't know. But I have gone through like four or five of these in the past five months. Yeah, I go through these hella quick, like once a month pretty much. Um, so this is a Sephora Coal Liner. It's their Coal Waterproof Liner. And this is like nine bucks of fabulousness. And if you guys like the Milani Liquify, um, this is pretty much exactly comparable to it, but I feel like it's a little bit more waterproof, ledge, less, um, less smudging. Um, it's equally as creamy. It glides on like a dream. Um, I absolutely love it. I get it cheaper than $9, clearly, because of where I work. Um, my Milani Liquify is about 9 bucks, and that's without a discount. So I get this for like 5 bucks, 4 bucks ish um, So personally, I would rather go for my Sephora one. Um, so this is my favorite eyeliner, pretty much almost of all time. Um, it's comparing very well to my MAC Engrave, which is bye-bye. <laughs> um, I have two like little minis. Of these this is how fast I go through a Mac PowerPoint in, in um, engraved this is like probably top three top three favorite pencil liner also top three and the Milani liquify would also be in top three so those are my top three favorite eyeliners the Milani liquify the engraved PowerPoint from Mac and this new Sephora one um, they're not really quite ranked but they're my top three The only thing that I don't like about these is very similar to the Milani Liquify since it's so creamy, you literally sharpen the hell out of it to keep getting a perfect point because y'all know I like my wing, um, so I'm really picky about that. Um, oh, my brows are not cracking at the moment. Oh, hell no. Um, one of my favorite face products of the moment is this Essential C Toner from Murad. Oh, this thing smells so good. It's like literally spritzing like orange juice all over your facial. Um, I like it because it does a little bit more than just brightening. It actually literally fights off free radicals. Um, so that way, like, if you're, I don't know, if you're around a lot of smoke like I am, my dad smokes in the house, unfortunately. Um, if you're around a lot of smoke like I am or um, you're just around a lot of smog because I, I, you know, I live in the burbs and then I drive to the city, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I just live in an area where I'm always around some kind of toxins. Um, so, I mean, you know, when I go out, you know, I feel like my skin looks really tired the next morning. Um, when I'm around smoke more, like... I find that my skin looks really tired and I'm all about brightening so this was right up my alley um, this actually has bitter orange and corn flour corn flour cone flour not corn cone flour extract and that says it strengthens skin's natural defense system so basically it helps you fight off you know all the crap that's out there basically um, and I like that because it's literally infusing antioxidants and fighting off free radicals in your skin. So my skin's felt a lot more awake, it feels a lot more brightened, um, I feel like it helps balance my skin because I'm combo oily and I'm in transition now from summer to fall, so I find that this has really really been helping. Also you guys know that I'm really conscious about my freckles, um, I feel like this has been adding that extra glow in my skin and has been kind of fading the freckles just a little bit. So I've been loving this a lot. I know that it doesn't look like I use a lot of it, but I've been using it for about two weeks now. That's enough, long enough for me to mention that I love it. Another skincare item I've been loving are these glow pads from Bare Minerals. I mentioned this in a haul before. Um, I got kind of bad and I stopped using them for a while, so I'm back to using them again. And they have made a huge difference in my skin. So I mostly do this at night. It's basically like my nighttime toner, if you will. Um, cause after you cleanse your face, you kind of rub the pad, they come in pads, duh, they're intensive brightening pads, um, they're pads. Um, so you, there's a textured side and a smooth side, so I usually use the textured side, I go in circular motions all over my face, kind of let it marinate for a little bit, and then I do my, um, my night serum and my night cream. Um, this is mostly a daytime thing because it kind of wakes up my skin, it brightens me, it wakes me up with the smell and everything, it's the bomb. Um, but for nighttime, I love this stuff. It really has been working. I love the whole Bare Mineral skincare line. Um, I used to use it, as you guys know, I've mentioned it before, that it was one of my favorites. And I do absolutely love it. 
this particular thing, these, this glow pad treatment is amazing if you're really into brightening and really glowy skin. Ever since I started using this, I get a ton of compliments on what I'm using and why I look so glowy. And the only new thing that I incorporated was this. So, loving this! Favorite foundation of the moment. Okay, so... I work in a place where I'm surrounded by a shitload of foundation, okay? Um, I mentioned in my last favorites that I do love the Urban Decay. I do plan on doing a review, so just give me a minute. Um, I plan on doing a review on practically every new foundation Sephora has come out with because a ton of you of you guys have been asking me. Um, but a lot of you guys also want to know what I think about this lovely thing. Um, so I intend on doing a review completely separate from this video for this that will have most of the details. Um, for now, I will say this is a pretty bomb-ass foundation. Um, I use shade 400 Early 10. If you guys can see it. Um, someone suggested me Natural 10 worked as well. Um, a co-worker of mine used Rich Ginger and it looked way, way, way dark and pinkish red on her. Not my steez. Um, I would rather go lighter than darker, personally. Because um, lighter, I can always make it darker. It kind of just evens itself out. Um... This oxidizes in a good way, not in a bad way. Most foundation oxidizes really orange um, and extremely dark, like darker than your skin tone. This one, on the other hand, um, it like literally oxidizes and melts perfectly into your skin. It's amazing. Um, I'm very impressed with this foundation. Um, has a little guard on it. I keep that on there because as you can tell it gets hella messy. Um, but it, I keep it on my vanity so it usually stays pretty solid like and flat like that. Um, I'll go more into details like the pros and cons of this foundation, but in short, I love this thing. It was literally worth every $10 and something change that I paid for it. Cheapest place to get it that I found is Walmart. Target, I think, sells it for like $11.99. Walmart sells it for like $10.80 something. You know how Walmart does it with their weird 80, you know, 82 cents or 97 cents, whatever. It's like $10.80 something. Um, so yeah, love this stuff. Um, for reference, I'm NC42 and MAC pretty much all year wrong, all, all year long. Bleh, wrong. All year wrong. Um, for reference sake, I'm pretty much an NC42 all year long. Um, there are days when, there are seasons, like if I get super light in the winter, the lightest I'll get is like an NC40. Um, but I normally like to look really warm anyway, so, um... I tend to like NC42 no matter what. Um, I can get as dark as NC45 in the summer. The darkest I got so far is 43. So, um, yeah, generally about NC42. Um, this, I usually, it, it comes on a little bit light. So it, it's very neutral. It's not warm at all. Um, if I had a choice, I would probably um, put a couple of dots of early tan and then maybe like one or two dots of caramel, which I believe is the darkest shade they carry, just to kind of warm it up a little bit because I need that, a little bit of that tan factor in there. And a lot of these shades are very neutral. Um, it's the only thing I don't like about it. A lot of them are very neutral or very um, cool tone. Um, not too many of them are warm tone. To get my absolutely perfect shade, I would probably have to mix. However... I noticed that since I'm kind of transitioning to being like just a touch lighter, this works for me. So this is for someone who's like NC40, NC42-ish, I would say. When you do put it on, however, it looks very light and just give it a second. Like within an hour or two, it should be almost your perfect shade, at least for me. Um, and then what I do is I kind of top it off with a warm powder. This one is bronze or tan, tan number 35 in my Sephora um, Micro Smooth powder I think I've mentioned this to you guys before um, but this powder has a little bit of you know tan to it so it kind of just evens things out this is pretty much my perfect skin shade so when I kind of buff this over it just kind of evens itself out so this combination has been straight love for me this this month. love 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 that combo favorite bronzer um, at the moment um, kind of wearing it today but it kind of wore off a little bit um, it's Bahama Mama from the bomb um, it's kind of dark. It's a little bit more muddy looking to me, um, but I still like it. It's kind of like a shimmery version of Hoola, if you will. I don't even know if you can really see it. It's like right there. So it's, it's a little bit more brown for me. Um, I mostly go for more red-based bronzers, um, but this makes for like a more natural look, I suppose. I don't really like to do any heavy contouring anyway. I just literally use bronzer as bronzer. I very rarely ever, 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 ever ever contour and I've been also liking frat boy blush also from the bomb um it's like a really nice peachy pinkish kind of shade god I don't know if you can see that sorry 
Uh, my swatches are kind of whack today, but you get the idea, okay? Um, everybody's seen this blush all over the place, so it ain't nothing new, girl. Um, gripe. Ugh, okay. So, I went to Vegas, as you guys know. Um, I went to Vegas for like five or six days. I was gone for hella long. Um, I was too lazy to do a manicure or get my nails done or whatever, and I was just bored at home and realized I haven't tried these yet. Um, I forgot when I got these. I think I got them when I had um, a Vox box or Influencer. One of those. One of those like monthly thingies where they send you free shit. These are the Impress nails from Kiss, and I had it in a really pretty like Miami pink color. I doesn't say what oh ecstatic cling there you go ecstatic cling um okay i love the color absolutely gorgeous um i love really bright pink and it was perfect for vegas um here's what i don't like about this thing okay first of all packaging is cute whatever i don't know if i want to do a full-on review about this because if i do it's going to be a, it's going to be me complaining about it really um so let's just keep it short and sweet okay i hate this thing um Number one, okay, not that I have big fat old fingers or anything, but finding your right nail size is a pain in the ass. Like, I had to go through so many shapes and I had to like file them down so much. Like, my fingers are pretty general. Um, if you guys have ever tried um, press on nails from like Nailene and Kiss, I always, always almost find my perfect nail, sh nail size with those. But this one was a challenge. Like, I literally had to file the edges down um, some of them were either way too big and then the next size down was like way too small. I was getting really frustrated but by the time I got them on my nails, here's what I don't like. So when you press them on, okay, there's like a, a strip of glue on the back of, you know, each nail and it kind of leaves a gap, you know, because there's like that big old thing of glue, you know, in between and it leaves like the really, to me it's a pretty thick gap, thicker than press on nails in my opinion. Um, it leaves a pretty thick gap and water will get in there if you wash your hands a lot. Um, I went swimming in Vegas, so I was really irritated because basically the water and the chlorine and everything, it loosened the glue. So I can't tell you how many nails I lost. <laughs> like, I'm glad I brought nail glue as a backup because I was so irritated that, like, out of nowhere, one nail came off. Like, I opened a drawer, one nail came off. I was like, what the hell? Like, I didn't even feel the pressure of it coming off. Like, a press-on nail, you can feel it when it rips off. But these, like, they just come off and you would never know. And then another thing I don't like is they're very plasticky like they kind of bend a little more than I would like so if you see it like it it literally like it it hella bends so it's super plasticky and it's really cheap I guess you could say like I feel like they're kind of cheap um like press on nails to me are way better than these I would choose press on nails like from Nailene or even Kiss or Broadway over these any day um I just I don't know I just feel like these are kind of cheapy um but whatever floats your boat. Um, if you have like tiny fingers, I guess, like really petite fingers, this will be perfect for you size-wise. Um, but it just doesn't last. Like, it's supposed to last you, I think, oh, it doesn't even say. Okay, it says it lasts you up to a week. It literally lasted me two days. Not even. Like the next day, like I put them on at night, like the night before I was leaving for Vegas. That day, two of them already came off. <laughs> and I'm not vigorous with my nails. I'm hella careful and whatever. Anyway, also too is your nails have to be really, really, really short to use these. These are literally like a press-on manicure, like looking like your real nails kind of thing. Um, but they, to me, they look like press-ons, like for real. Um, they don't look like your natural nails at all. Last makeup-related item that I've been loving is my Tarte eyelash curler. I love this thing. Um, I love that it's kind of like more like a press style. It really, really curls your lashes. I love it. Um, it doesn't pinch either, and it fits really nicely in there. Um, I love my Shuamura, but you can't get it in the U.S. anymore. Um, I'm actually waiting on my auntie to send me one because she lives in the Philippines, um, and she has more easy access to it than I do. Um, I heard you can order it online, but I just kind of don't want to go through the trouble of doing that. Um, so I've been looking for a replacement for my Shuamura just because I know that I can't replace this beauty without getting a new one. Like, there's no... 
there's no eyelash pad that will compare to this one in my opinion but this tart one's pretty damn amazing but i love that the spring is more um it's like really easy to control and you don't have to press hella hard um there are some eyelash curlers that i've tried where i'm literally like either holding it there for hella long or like uh, just really irritating and i don't like to curl my lashes so that they like literally bend upward i kind of like a nice gradual curl so what i usually do is i curl at the base and then kind of move it upward to kind of give it a nice curl so i like to kind of pump it <laughs> a little bit as opposed to like squeezing it tight for 30 seconds like most people suggest you to do um yeah that's how i get a more natural curl and this really just does it it's just amazing i love this thing tart products i'm telling you amaze balls okay so non um, makeup related things uh fall is a come in um fall is one of my favorite seasons ever and every time that season comes around this is my favorite candle ever in life okay life or death situation ladies this is the business um i really like fall scents and this is like oh god seriously this is like fall in candle form um it's called leaves this is one of the most popular ones that they have every time season rolls around i stock up on these babies like last year i bought like 10 of them because once they're gone for the season like that's it <laughs> um and then when they had their candle sale during holiday i think it was like two for 20 or three for 20 i had like a coupon or something where i got like three for 20 or buy two get one free so i got a shitload more <laughs> um but this is probably my second favorite candle. My first one is my aromatherapy one. But my second favorite candle ever, 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 ever from Bath & Body Works is Leaves. Oh, I, I'm so excited I can burn this again because it's like perfect for the season. Another non-makeup related thing. I know this is kind of weird. Please don't judge me. <laughs> um, uh, is my new knife. Um, sorry, I don't mean to act all creepo or anything, but I got an M-Tech knife as a gift. I love this thing. Sorry, don't think I'm creepy or weird or whatever, but I'm sorry. I grew up needing to learn how to protect myself. Oh. <laughs> I grew up needing to learn how to protect myself. So, um, you know, I grew up with brothers. Uh, I absolutely had to learn how to use a knife, a flip knife, if you will, like a butterfly style knife. I know how to mess with those too. Um... I don't know, maybe I'm just really a tomboy at heart. I like knives and guns and things like that. I'm weird, okay? Don't judge me. Um, but I was very, very excited to get this. Love, love, love this knife. It's so clean. It, like, fits my hand really well. Um, and it's really easy to use. Like, I literally just flip it open. I've never cut myself or anything like that. It has a guard on it. So it has, like, a little guard on it. So when you close it, like, you're not going to cut yourself. Don't worry about it. <laughs> and you just close it. Super easy. And then on the side right here, it has a part that opens up. Um, this thing is hella sharp, like super, super sharp. Um, another brand that I like, I think it's called Cold Steel, Cool Steel, shit, I don't remember, but Panda really likes that brand, so I've seen a couple of knives from that brand before too. Um, but yeah, really excited about my first like real full-on knife by M-Tech, yay! Um, I've heard that you can't throw this against trees. <laughs> my homeboy said he used to have an M-Tech knife and he threw it against a tree and it broke. Um, so I wouldn't suggest that if you have one. Um, not that I'm that much of a boy scout or anything, but yep, love this thing. I'm very excited. The only thing is it's kind of got a lot of weight to it. So I kind of want one maybe like same style and everything, but just maybe about this big so I can kind of keep it with me because that's just what I do. Um, yes, I keep a shrink with me. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry again about the lighting. Sun's going down, so I gotta go.